Santa Cruz, Santa, Santa Cruz, and Greater Santa Cruz Valley. We're here on the City Spotlight Show. Um, this is your news director, Perry Smith, and I'm here with the City of Santa Clarita's Public Works Director, Robert Newman. And we've been talking about, as we do on this show every third Friday, all things Santa Clarita, and uh, more specifically, just a litany, a slew, if you will, of uh, capital improvement projects that we've been working on. Uh, the McBean bridge widening was one thing that we touched on that we haven't really gone into detail about, but um, tell me a little bit about that. We're going we're gonna to add a lane southbound? Correct. If you're familiar with that area and you drive it, you know, um, we're actually going to add a lane in the southbound direction by the post office on the bridge, which will alleviate a bottle choke neck as you're going south, and we're going to add a class one or a separated bike path if anybody's ever ridden across that that bridge on the sidewalk, you know, two bikes passing each other is kind of an exciting experience. <laughs> sure. And, and by adding that that width of the lane, it'll actually be a... a you make it a little less exciting, but a maybe less a little exciting, safer. <laughs> a little safer. And, and actually tie it into the bridge, and there'll be connections underneath. So uh, like we've had at other intersections with the river, there'll be a connection under the bridge. So you'll be able to go from one side of the road with, to the other without going across the street. And you were saying there was four lanes going northbound, and now there's three lanes, but there will be four lanes going southbound with this new addition. So that was just kind of based on need at the time when the road was built. You said, okay, we have more traffic going this way, so this is why we're going to do this? Yeah, it's kind of common is you, okay. you build what you need at the time. And, you know, that bridge was built probably 15, 20 years ago. Really? Okay. So for that duration of time that it was out there, that that, that need was met. So this is a, an opportunity to come back and add the widening. And uh, speaking of meeting need, another project that we're looking at is the transit center. Uh, that's going to add hundreds of more parking spaces, um, benefiting commuters, and, and kind of just prettying up the area a little bit as well with some trees. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, our transit system, which carries a little over 4 million riders a year, you know, you talk about traffic and all the alternative modes. So if you can get somebody in a bus or somebody on a bicycle or somebody in a pedestrian, that's one less trip on the, on the street. One of the things to facilitate transit and ridership down into the, you know, the valley, San Fernando Valley or down to L.A. or some of the other points south is to have a park and ride facility that people can get there leave their car for the day and get on a bus and as part of that existing transfer station there on McBean we're actually expanding the transfer component of that and adding I think about four canopies additional stops and 280 spaces and if you look at the overall project I think we're adding about 170 plus trees in there and the landscaping we're doing LED lighting so really environmentally friendly with the project. And that just makes it a little more energy efficient as well as the canopies just giving you some shade for your car. Yeah correct. <laughs> okay good deal. Um, and that that construction is underway. Am that I understanding? ongoing now should be finished here in the in the fall. Okay, well that's that's awesome. And then uh, I just want to touch on some of the Saugus projects a little bit. Uh, there's going to be a Bouquet Creek restoration project that's uh, underway. Can you talk to me a little bit about what's happening there? Yeah, by Central Park we've had some erosion along the existing bank, and, and the project there is a, a small project with landscaping instead of instead of the environmentally unsensitive or insensitive uh, treatment of going in there and putting concrete bank we're going to do some landscape type improvements to control the erosion and, and see what we've had there right at the entrance of the park and a lot of the other stuff is maybe a little more subtle but certainly will be noticed by uh, commuters and people on the roads all the time i'm looking at a lot of uh, like maybe the addition of a traffic signal and that type of thing yeah we've we've got kind of the full gamut we talked a lot about the big projects but we've got a lot of small projects that that are at specific intersections we've got one going on now over by the hospital on valencia mcbean and we're always looking for those opportunities where the money and grants tie into some need and some ability. So we're always kind of balancing that and looking at where we can improve traffic flow. We're doing a lot of median beautification. We've got some beautification medians that we're gonna to add to Railroad Avenue, pretty, pretty much from Oak Ridge South down to 13th Street and a couple on Golden Valley. So we're really doing a lot of work around town. And as someone who sat in on a city council meeting or two, like yourself, um, we hear a lot about, you know, um, should there be a stop sign here? Should we get a turn signal here? That's some of the projects that we're talking about, especially in particular the traffic turn signals. And that's all based on, uh, you know, like you're saying, demand or traffic flow. Like, when do you say, okay, now it's time for me to get a turn signal here at, uh, you know, near the hospital per se? Or yeah, we, we continue to monitor that, and there's conditions under which we put those in. Um, when that need, pre you know, presents itself, we're looking at funding through the council's 
budgeting of the funds and the council looks at priorities and, and allocates money based on on those needs awesome well robert newman thank you for your time i know you got to get back to you know blocking traffic and <laughs> building more things for our city i um, apologize for that <laughs> nah well you know it's you, somebody's got to do it uh and and it's making the, the city a little bit better a little bit safer and a little bit cleaner a little bit greener so thank you for your time i appreciate it this is your uh, city of santa clarita spotlight show on your hometown station am 1220 with your news director perry smith in my